Hey, what is up, Sagittarius? Welcome back to another reading. This is the Sagittarian Goddess. Thank y'all so, so much for joining another reading with me. Welcome. I hope wherever you are in the world, you know that you are prosperous. I hope you are having a wonderful day, Sagittarius. Okay. I hope this Sagittarius season was a beautiful one for you. Okay, you coming out with the Five of Pentacles, Sag. Hmm. Someone feels left out or something. Like you're leaving them out. Hmm. Well, this could be you, Sagittarius. I see. Okay, you got the eight of wands to the three of cups. Like someone definitely feels left out or something. Okay, Sagittarius. Hmm. Something is happening very quickly for you. Some type of celebration possibly is coming in for you. I see some type of gathering. What happens after the three of cups? The six of cups. Uh, Sagittarius, are you reconnecting with somebody from your past or family? I, I see three of cups, so I'm not sure if this has to do with family or love, but let's find out. What happens after the six of cups? Mm, you got death coming out in reverse, uh, Sagittarius. So I feel like someone doesn't want something to end with you. Someone from your past is having a hard time letting something go with you. Okay. I see there could be some type of third party situation here. Okay, this could have happened before you knew it as well. Although there's some type of celebration happening for you, I feel like in the background, there's some type of third party. I'm, I'm feeling like you don't really know about these, Sagittarius. I feel like you could hear about this or you could find out about this. Okay, what happens after death in reverse? You got the four of swords. Hmm. Someone is holding back how they feel. Holding back from expressing how they feel. Could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Earth sign, Capricorn, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio. Hmm. What happens after the Four of Swords? The Two of Swords. Okay, someone is trying to make a decision, Sagittarius, on whether or not to, to tell you something. Hmm. Something about, about a third party situation. Hmm, I see the seven of wands and the page of swords when I cut the deck. So you can have your guard up against this person. This person knows this. You got the two of cups in reverse. It came out in reverse, you guys. So this could be a lover, okay, or ex-lover. Someone wants to tell you what happened or, or what's been happening. But I feel like they're in their head on whether or not to tell you. I feel like this person is holding back some type of information. And it has something to do with another person, uh, Sagittarius, okay? Hmm. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles. You got the Queen of Swords. Because this person doesn't know um, how you're going to take something. I, I do feel like you could be the type of person, Sagittarius, that could speak your mind, okay? So, this person is unsure whether or not to let you in on this. Let's see. Why the three of cups here with the eight of wands? Ooh. Someone feels left out of this situation or out of some type of celebration. Like someone is watching something from a distance. Someone could be watching you online, watching you celebrate something. Sagittarius, seeing your photos, okay? Thinking about a possible outcome. I see someone could be daydreaming about something with you. Why is the Six of Cups here to death in reverse? Like someone is, is looking at something now in a different in, the, in a different light. They don't want something to end because death is in reverse. So no, like someone isn't letting something go. I don't know if they're telling you this. I see a King of Pentacles, okay? Whoever this is, Sagittarius, 
they see something with you. They see something solid with you. Hmm, this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So you could have a, a earth sign, water sign that you're in a relationship with, okay? If you're not in a relationship, someone sees you as like stability, like you like you know what you want, okay? They could see a future with you. Someone from your past though, okay? You got the four of cups. Someone is holding back how they feel. You got the four of cups coming out with the two with the two of swords and the four of swords. Okay, someone is not only holding, they're holding back how they feel and they're not saying how they feel and they're making and they're trying to decide on whether or not to say something but i feel like this person is just choosing not to say anything uh sagittarius regarding a certain situation and it has something to do with this two of cups in reverse i feel like someone could be upset about how a love connection turned out between you and them so this person is deciding to hold back i see the two of cups in reverse okay someone isn't set i feel like someone isn't satisfied in a relationship um Possibly that they were in with a third party of uh, Sagittarius. Someone isn't satisfied in their relationship. Like someone does not feel seen in this relationship uh, with this person. I don't know who this is, but let's see. Why is the two of cups here in reverse? Someone does not feel satisfied. They don't feel seen, okay? You got the queen of pentacles. Hmm. So I feel like who, whoever this person is with, um, I, I do feel like this person could want just their, like their money. Um, not necessarily, they could be with them because of their money, but not necessarily for their heart. You know what I'm saying? Um, Sagittarius, wow. And you could feel like someone is wanting to get with you for your money. You got the seven of swords. Yeah, this person, whoever this person is connected to, you got the seven of swords coming out with the queen of pentacles. So like some someone has someone has chosen a third a third party. I'm feeling over you, Sagittarius, but this person, all they want is this person's money. I feel like this person could feel like they're they're being left out in a cold or like they made the wrong move regarding you, Sagittarius. Because I do feel like this two of cups was upright with you. I do. Okay? Why's well, the Queen of Swords here? I feel like I feel like you tried to welcome someone in. Uh, Sagittarius, I do. Someone who, who was watching, someone who seemed interested. I feel like you welcome someone in, okay? Why's the Queen of Swords here? You got the star, and you did. Hmm. You believed in somebody when they didn't even believe in themselves. I feel like someone is seeing this now. Wow. I feel like someone is seeing you celebrate something. You're about to celebrate something, Sagittarius. There's some type of victory you have, some type of celebration. Someone could be expecting. Yeah, you got the Ace of Pentacles. So many blessings are coming to you, and someone is just watching. Someone is watching, wishing that they could be a part of this. I feel like someone definitely missed an opportunity with you, and I'm, I'm this is no cap, you guys. Wow, why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? You got the King of Pentacles here to the Six of Cups with Death in Reverse. Damn, this person does not want something to end. Like, they love it here, Sagittarius. They love, they love it here. Wow, why is the King of Pentacles here? I see the Five of Swords, Strength, the Ten of Swords. Hmm. You may question this person's intentions towards you. You got the Devil. So, this could be a Capricorn, Okay. This could be someone who, who really wants to connect with you, okay? They don't mind, okay? Someone does not mind connecting with you. Hmm. Give me one more for the King of Pentacles with the devil. You got the Page of Wands. Okay. Yeah, someone wants to know more about you, more about what's going on with you. Someone could be concerned about you, this person. Why is, the, why is the four cups here? I pretty much know why the four cups here with the four swords. Like, someone is literally holding back from you, uh, Sagittarius. They're not telling you how they feel, what they think. Like, somebody literally could have ghosted you, <laughs> Sagittarius. I see, yup, look at that. You got the five of cups uh, to the to the ten of cups. Like, you, you thought you were going to have some type of happiness with this person? Um, or they thought they were going to have some type of happiness with you? Someone is holding back these feelings of feeling... 
feeling like a, a wish did not come true, okay? That they didn't get their ten of cups. And I feel like it's because there's other things going on in the background. You have the six of swords, the moon, yep, and the lovers. Look at that. So uh, you could be connected to a, a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, okay? In this situation, in this situation, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces. I'm picking up on very strongly uh, in a natal chart, uh, Sagittarius. Hmm. This is definitely dealing with a love, a love situation. Okay, someone, someone wants to talk about something, but with the moon here, this is, this is so, it's so much hidden. It's so much that is being hidden, not only from this person, but also from you, uh, Sagittarius. It's like this person is really, um. They're really deep in their feelings, uh, Sagittarius. This could also be you. You could be taking a step back, you know, not really speaking on certain things, not really expressing certain things, or just allowing yourself to feel something. But I also see somewhere here trying to ignore um, their emotions, okay? Someone is, is ignoring their emotions in the situation, uh, Sagittarius. They're definitely ignoring whatever they feel regarding a love situation. Someone is trying to, like, move past this. They're trying to move past this situation, Sagittarius. Okay, they could be going to another lover. I do see this other lover here. It could be a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, that they could be connected to, but I feel like this person is with someone for the wrong with, with this person for the wrong reasons. Okay, or someone could have been with you for the wrong reasons. They could have been after your money. Okay, there was a love that was unrequited. Oh wow, let's get a uh. Spirit animal. Thank y'all so much for joining this reading. I hope you guys are doing well. I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you like this video. Drop me a comment down below. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Share this video. Okay, you have the sheep. Innocence. Okay. You have innocence. It says, you are encouraged to reconnect with your inner child in order to become more spontaneous and playful and consider... Consider what life has to offer with a, with a great sense of wonder. Take some time this week to get in touch with the innocence, with the innocence and vulnerability in you. Hmm. So I do feel like you could be like taking a step back. I do I do see the four of swords, four of cups, and although I'm picking up on someone else's energy uh towards you with someone around you. I'm also picking up on you, uh Sagittarius. You could be in in a in a deep, deep um Space when in regards to your love connections, in regards to your friendships, the relationship that you have with others, with your friends, okay, with your lover or uh, someone that you're manifesting into your world, uh, Sagittarius, with this sheep and innocence. I, I feel like, uh, Sagittarius, you have this very, very loving energy surrounding you, and it's very beautiful, uh, Sagittarius, with this sheep. And um, when I'm when I'm looking at this sheep, you know, I see all the what is it called? Is it fur? I don't know what it is. What they call it but anyways i just i just feel like you're a very very loving person i'm very surprised that the queen of cups didn't come out uh she did come out uh before i started this reading I, it came out the nine of swords and the queen of cups together like someone is definitely in their head about someone who's loving okay someone who's kind okay or this could be you that's in your head because you're loving you're kind okay and um with this two of cups in reverse the queen of pentacles and the seven of swords i feel like you you could feel like someone um connected with you for all the wrong reasons and not the right reasons uh sagittarius i want to pull another spirit animal let me get one with the sheet give me one more with the sheet okay i got two so i'm gonna take those you got the ladybug with luck okay it says, your goals are about to manifest in remarkable ways. Dreams are coming to fruition. Stop and enjoy this moment. It's important to let, th let things flow at their natural pace. Rest assured in due, in due course of time, your wishes will come true. So I just see you retreating and really, really seeing how grateful how grateful you are to have the people in your life to have the things that you have and just and just to be you're allowing yourself to be so i feel like you could be holding back on you know um discussing certain matters uh regarding to your emotions okay or regarding regarding your thoughts sagittarius I, I really feel like this is a time for you to you know really be blessed and receive i do see the star here um, with the with the Queen of Swords, I, I see you welcoming in your dreams and your goals. 
very, very easy, easily, okay? It could seem as though things are happening for you very easily, okay? Jupiter is really on your side here, and you have the Ace of Pentacles. So it's like whatever you're, whatever you're manifesting, you're receiving, okay? You're receiving whatever you are manifesting, Sagittarius. Wow, beautiful. This is so powerful and inspirational with the ladybug, sheep, and the bear. Okay, you have the bear with strength, okay? The bear symbolizes, look at that bear. It says the bear symbolizes a strong source of support in times of difficulty and adversity. It may be time for you to stand for your beliefs or your truth with strength and confidence. You are free to roam at will and follow your path. So I do feel, feel like you do have this sense of freedom where you feel as though you don't have to give so much in certain situations, okay? You don't have to explain yourself in certain situations. And, and you're seeing the beauty within that, Sagittarius. You know, sometimes it's okay not to speak on certain things. And I feel like if someone, you know, left something unsaid, I feel like this person taught you that, okay? So, so, so just be grateful for that. Just be grateful for that lesson that you've been taught. I feel like you definitely learned a lesson throughout a love situation here, okay? Sagittarius all right all right let's get some messages of love you have irreplaceable Wow, it says the way you love can never be matched. And I do, I, I, I did flip out, uh, I did pull the Queen of Cups with the Nine of Swords. Like someone is realizing, Sagittarius, that you you have an energy that, that cannot be matched, that cannot be duplicated, okay? Um, I do feel like with this Two of Cups, uh, Queen of Pentacles and Seven of Swords, someone is realizing, uh, Sagittarius, that you are irreplaceable and your love is very genuine. Wow. It's a seven of swords. Wow, someone is really seeing something a different way. Something has happened. You have regret. Yeah, something has definitely happened to to allow someone to see like, oh, Sagittarius. Like, wow. It says, I wish this never happened. Someone is wishing like something never happened. Someone is wishing that they made a different decision regarding you. Okay, this could be you, uh, Sagittarius. Someone regrets making a, a decision that didn't involve you like someone is realizing that you cannot be replaced there's no one else like you there's no one else who talks like you talk who loves like you love and someone knows how genuine you are and how they they took that for granted okay with regret wow what happens after regret okay you have revealed but i want to tell you the truth i do feel like someone wants to tell you this they want to talk to you they want to let you know how they feel but i do feel like the way that they left things they left things in a way to where they they really can't come back to you like they, they like they've been blocked or like they blocked themselves out and you have broken wow someone feels broken because of this someone really wants to talk to you about this about this issue it says i feel shattered about this situation okay someone could definitely be in regret i, I do feel like this could be this could have been you you could have been in, in regret for revealing a certain truth okay or telling someone how you feel like something backfired um Sagittarius but I feel like everything is going to be just fine for you Sagittarius I, I do feel like you know that as well like there's no worries okay and you have a missed opportunity like Sagittarius you already know that um the way that this person left things Sagittarius you already know that they missed an opportunity with you like you don't I feel like you're in a you're in a place where you don't even have to say anything you don't have to do anything Okay, um, all you have to do is just be, and I feel like this person just automatically just missed an opportunity with you. It says, I didn't act when I should have. Someone know that they should have acted. Someone know that, you know, they didn't make the best decision regarding you, Sagittarius. They already know that. You don't have to explain. It says absence. Wow, someone is definitely missing you, missing your energy. It says, I feel like a part of me is missing without you. I feel like Sagittarius, whoever this is that you connected with, you and them share a very uh, intimate moment together, whether this be verbally expressing yourselves, emotionally, uh, physically, all, all of the above. I do feel like someone is missing your absence, missing your touch. Wow, why is absence here? 
you have the shadow side you made me realize my flaws so i feel like uh with this with you and this person going deeper into things Sagittarius and you being uh vulnerable and gen and genuine which i didn't i didn't feel like you you saw it as if you're being vulnerable you saw it as if you're just being real you know and you have to understand that everybody's not going to be real with you and everybody can't handle the real okay so um you you showing this love and you showing up genuine yourself real you know not hiding who you are you have you have to understand that someone here who they were you know Sagittarius you put a spotlight on yourself Sagittarius so someone here who they were like whatever you and this person talked about Sagittarius whatever you and this person did all they could see was their dark side like you your light revealed their dark side like when you show show who you are Sagittarius it reveals the dark side of others and I feel like this is what happened with this person so I really do feel like someone self-sabotaged this <laughs> this uh connection with you Sagittarius uh to be with a, a, a lower vibration inner a lower vibrational energy okay look at that you have ego they couldn't deal with it because like um whatever you reveal to this person Sagittarius it also revealed this person's shadow side and it just made them go deeper and deeper into their ego like this person could have even been in a darker space of being in competition with you a yes a lover a friend could have been in, in competition with you somehow some way you know not wanting to give in it says i let my pride get in the way of our connection wow and it says a soul tie hmm it says i always feel connected i always feel connected uh to you and this is the first time this i have pulled this card you guys so this is definitely um a soul tie that is happening here you could have a soul tie with someone or someone feels like they're tied to you and i feel like the reason why they're feeling tied to you um is because of the energy that you share but i feel like they also have a soul tie with whoever this uh queen of pentacles is in this seven in this seven of swords energy they could have a child with this person um they could be in a marriage or in some type of commitment they could share uh bills or you know some they feel some type of connection with this person a physical soul tie as well uh Sagittarius. let me get one more okay you have space it says i need more time to think i feel like this person is definitely in their head they're they're all they're also in this similar energy as as you um wanting to allow yourself to just feel things and not necessarily speak up on certain things like you don't have to explain yourself and you got to understand that this person is is moving out of a place of ego so this person is feeling as though they didn't have to explain themselves or they don't have to explain themselves because of their ego not because they know who they are but because of their ego they're very insecure in their ego okay so i feel like sagittarius the the love you show or you know how you showed up in this person's life uh sagittarius this really rubbed their ego the wrong way i feel like they wanted some type of control and i don't feel like they could control you sagittarius they i feel like they needed someone that they could control i do i do see the queen of pentacles here with the seven of swords so uh this person could have been um they could be materialistic or they could be with someone who's materialistic and they need that type of control maybe you're more independent financially uh sagittarius and this person could have that type of control over you so i feel like this has something to do with finances and stability as well sag okay let's pull some signs you guys okay you have aries you have virgo You have Libra. You have Taurus. Okay, you have the moon. That's Pisces and Cancer. And you have Taurus. So you could be connected to an Aries, Virgo, Libra, Taurus, moon, a, a Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, or Taurus okay and I do see Capricorn coming out in the tarot as well as Gemini and Aquarius as well okay Let's get some romance 
you have attraction. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I, I see you, Sagittarius. I see you just like letting go of feeling weighed down by things and you're just kind of just you're just kind of just being yourself you know letting yourself be seen allowing yourself to be heard when you feel like it needs to be heard but i do see you in this very balanced energy i don't like with the four of swords and the four of cups so like although you're holding back i feel like with this especially with the moon here i feel like you're holding back for um really good reason because there's some inner work going on here in the background that only you can see Sagittarius so you're very you're coming off as very very attractive uh Sagittarius you can have three or, three or more people wanting to connect with you okay at this time and I see codependency it says addictions are affecting your romantic life so I do see codependent codependency here so I do feel like um it's showing up for this person I feel like they could have been codependent or someone is codependent upon them wow what happens after uh, codependency that can fool across the room. Okay, yeah, you have deception. Hmm. It says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I do see the seven of swords. I feel like someone could have connected with you for, for the wrong reasons. I feel like you could feel this, uh, Sagittarius. Okay, I just saw engagement. Okay, forgiving and learning. It's time to forgive this person if you haven't already and move on. What happens after deception? Okay, and you have religious factors. Okay, it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So I feel like with this being here, um, Sagittarius, maybe you and someone didn't believe the same things, but I do feel like you're you're coming into a connection with with someone who who um not necessarily agrees with you but someone who who allows you to you know be yourself you know sp spiritually here and independently okay what happens at the religious factors okay worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life yeah i, I feel like you are someone who's worth waiting for a uh, sagittarius most definitely to someone hmm finances and career look at that so i do see the uh ace of pentacles coming out here with the three of wands and the stars so i do feel like whatever like visions that you have they're coming into fruition like in the physical like they're manifesting in the physical like before your eyes things are happening so naturally for you seems seems to be so easily for you at this time sagittarius wow what happens after finances and career okay you have flirts look at that okay it says extend your lighthearted energy to others so Sagittarius, you could be getting a lot of compliments okay you could be complimenting okay um people could want to be your friend at this time uh Sagittarius, there's a lot of nice energy coming in let's get your soul journey sag thank y'all so much okay you have surrender. I can release my need to control. I do feel like Sagittarius, this this like free spirited energy that you're embracing, which has always been yours, uh, might I add Sagittarius, but I feel like it just makes you so much more attractive when you just you just let it be that because naturally you're you're not a controlling sign. Your the Sagittarius energy isn't controlling energy. So I feel like you're surrendering to the fact that. I'm a free spirited person, you know, I do my own thing, you know what I'm saying? And you want others to respect that. And if they don't, I mean, you don't have nothing to say, Sagittarius, okay? Give me one for surrender. Okay, you have purpose. It says, I know what I am here to do. No, 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 why you don't give a fuck, Sagittarius. I feel like you, you, you know who you are. Okay, and I feel like uh, with this four of swords, I felt that so, so deeply. Like with the four of swords and the four of cups with the two of swords. Like you know when to speak and when not to speak. Like you, you know, okay? When you know, you know. And I feel like you know your purpose. You know who you are. So you don't have to, you know, explain yourself in certain situations. You don't have to express your emotions in certain situations. You know when to and you know when it's not, when it's not relevant, okay? Let's get one more. Let's see okay and you have balance oh i like that 
says Sagittarius, I love that. It says, I bring a state, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world. And I do so without judgment. See, this is that love. This is that love that you bring. Like you bring this this light and this love, this love and light to whatever situation, whatever room you walk in, you surrender. Like you don't you don't try to control things. You work with what you have. You work with the environment. You're, you're working with nature. Like Sagittarius, although Sagittarius is a fire sign, Sagittarius is a mutable baby. This is a mutable fire. This is mutable passion. Like you can blend in. You can stand out. It's like you can do whatever you choose to do with what you have. You don't, you don't have to have control and you don't not have to have control. Okay? And you have regret again at the bottom of the deck. It says, I know that I cannot change the past. So you definitely could could be Sagittarius in regret about something in the past, Edge. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull my white cards out, you guys, and see what's coming out in the white cards. You know, this is a pretty intense reading, but we're going to see what's coming out in the white cards in the background. See what's going on in the background. We're going to dig a little bit deeper into this. Okay. Okay. Did I mix these? Hold on just a second, y'all. I got all of these just mixed all in. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get your fire energy. for these beautiful messages to say. I love this reading. I love this for you. You have cravings. Wasn't expecting cravings to come out, but I do feel like someone is craving you. They're craving your love, craving your touch. I see attraction here. Someone is definitely highly attracted to you, Sagittarius. Slow motion. Wait a minute. Okay. What is going on here with, cra with cravings and slow motion? Wow. Someone wants to take something slow, like they're craving something. They want to take something slow. Hmm. The new me. So you're definitely changing, Sagittarius. You, you definitely turned over a new leaf. Like, you have this beautiful energy of energy about you. And I do see the three of cups in attraction. I do feel like um, you could be getting a lot of love offers. Um, someone asking you on a date. Or just a lot of crushes right now. Sagittarius with cravings. Wow, I do feel like you could be smelling so good. And looking good. And just knowing who you are. Um, brings about this very attractive energy surrounding you. Okay. Let's get some earth energy for you. Okay, something to prove. You could feel like you got something to prove or somebody could feel like they have something to prove, but it's under cravings. Someone is craving you a lot and they're going to prove this. What are they going to do to prove this? Uh, Sagittarius, what's going on here? Do you have slow motion with the new me? Someone is craving you. The new you is just more, even more attractive. I see flirt here. Someone is wanting to flirt with you. 
I feel like when someone sees you, Sagittarius, it looks like you're moving in slow motion. Like, just like, you just... Like something out of a magazine, like something out of out of a movie. Like you, you, you look like something out of a movie. Someone could tell you that that you, you look like a movie star, or you just look. You have this just beautiful, handsome look about you, uh, Sagittarius. Okay, you have nobody's perfect with good luck. Hmm. I feel like someone wishes you well. Hmm. Someone could feel like you could be critical of them. And it says nobody's perfect. So Sagittarius, understand that nobody is perfect. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. So um, if something did end or something didn't turn out the way you wanted with someone, understand that we don't know everything. So understand that there needs to be some type of forgiveness if you haven't already forgiven this person so that you can move on. You do have luck on your side, uh, Sagittarius. Know that and trust that. And you have a bucket list with the new me. So you could be planning some type of trip, catching some type of flight, uh, Sagittarius, or preparing to. Let's get your water energy. Okay. Can't let go. Someone is craving you. They can't let you go. They have something to prove to you. They're trying to prove something to you. Hmm. And understand, you guys, we got a, a tropic chart and a beaded chart. So, um, this person could be like the sun sign before their tropic sign. So, if you're a Sagittarius, most likely you are. If you're here in the tropic, you're most likely a Scorpio in Vedic, okay, in your sun, okay? So, whoever this is could have some water in their chart, you guys. They cannot let you go. They're cra Someone is craving you. Someone is either having a hard time letting you go, but I feel like someone is also in your energy and they, they have something to prove to you, something in the physical. They're wanting to prove something in the physical. You have even the score. Hmm. Nobody's perfect, even the score. Hmm. Someone could have tried to get back at you or you could have tried to get back at someone when nobody's perfect. But I feel like with even the score here coming out in the water energy, I feel like... Someone wants to make something right with you. I do. Someone wants to make something right with you. Hmm. And you have expectations. So with this new me bucket list and expectations, I do feel like you're expecting to do some type of traveling soon. Sagittarius. Okay, let's see what's coming out in your air energy before we get on to the little cards, y'all. You got the heart chakra craving something to prove can't let go. Oh my goodness. Someone loves you a lot. Someone really cares for you. Hmm. I'm getting butterflies. Like someone really cares about you. They want to prove something to you. They feel this in their heart. They can't let go of this craving. Oh my goodness. Okay. It says communication is key. So Sagittarius, I feel like uh, there's a conversation that needs to be had. Yeah, I feel like there's a conversation that needs to be had. It says nobody's perfect, even the score communication is key, slow motion. But I feel like it's taking some time uh, for this conversation to come into play. I do feel like um, either you could be holding back or you and someone could be holding back from communicating with, with one another about a particular situation. Hmm. Say one more. All things in. Expectations with all things in. So you're realizing, uh, Sagittarius, that 
although you could have had your hopes up for a particular situation um for something to turn out a certain way i see bucket list here so you could have had a certain plan for something to turn out a certain type of way and you're realizing that all things end all things must end and that can be very hard to come to terms with so you guys i have two little two little uh thick decks that i made okay just for you guys just for my subbies and i hope you guys enjoy them so we're going to get a little deeper into this energy uh sagittarius i'm gonna have to cut them into into four little decks to get the messages out because they're so thick so we're going to see it says don't rush this okay it's something that doesn't need to be rushed why is don't rush this here okay you have be happy it's a test it's a test sagittarius okay and it says um everybody has issues don't let it fool you okay everybody has issues don't don't let it fool you don't let social media fool you don't let uh what someone drives fool you don't let anything fool you everybody has issues sagittarius okay everybody everybody encounters some type of problems throughout their life okay Let's get some more energy. Okay, and you have seeing right through them. So you could be seeing right through somebody. You can already tell like what's going on. It says people can change, Sagittarius. So like I do feel like there's someone in your energy that is saying that they change and this person actually has, okay? And it says guard up. Your guard could be up, their guard could be up, okay? Let me know how y'all liking my liking the new decks and you got the butterfly. Look at that. I see you breaking free. I just see you flowing. You guys and, and for the butterfly to come out um out of all these cards, okay. Purple is spiritual is my spiritual messages to you, okay? The red cards are the fire energy, of course, and the blue is emotions, the black is air, you guys, and the green is earth, okay? So I feel like you're breaking free. Sagittarius, this is very beautiful. Very beautiful energy. It, is, it says, fake it till you make it. Okay, Sagittarius, you may not have everything that you want right now. Everything may not be perfect. But until then, you know, be grateful for what you do have. Okay, Sagittarius? And I feel like things are going to work out just fine. I feel like you're tapping into your heart chakra, okay? You're being so blessed right now, Sagittarius. Yes, so blessed in this moment. This is beautiful. Let's see what else is coming out. Okay, you have, you trusted the wrong person, Sagittarius. You trusted the wrong person, okay? It says discrimination and racism. You could be dealing with this at work or, you know, in your daily life. You could have ran into someone who was uh, discriminated against you or um, being racist towards you, Sagittarius, okay? You could have trusted someone who you found out was racist, okay? Let's see. Keeping it real. Okay, someone's keeping it real. You're keeping it real with someone about something. Why is keeping it real here for Sag? Okay, something about a car, Uranus. Something happened unexpectedly with somebody's car, okay? Um, and it says acting, acting like they don't want you. Someone is acting like they don't want you, Sagittarius. So someone's not keeping it real about that, okay? And it says, they are telling you the truth. Someone is telling you the truth. Someone is keeping it real, but someone is also acting like they don't want you. Hmm, something is happening with somebody's car. Something unexpectedly. I don't know if you're, you're getting a car unexpectedly or you're having car trouble. Someone is having something dealing with their car and it's unexpected it's with or Uranus, okay? Okay, it would say stop communicating, okay? Either someone stop communicating, you stop communicating, or you and someone stop communicating, or you need to stop communicating, uh, Sagittarius, with someone. It says they are telling you the truth, stop communicating. So even though someone isn't saying something, they're still saying something. So stop communicating, okay? It says stealing, okay? This person could be a thief, okay? Message from spirit is stop communicating, okay? That's someone you need to stop communicating with. This could be with a business. This could have been with a person, an ex-lover. It says laughter is the best medicine, Sag. Okay, what does Sagittarius need to know at this time? 
okay it says been there done that so Sagittarius you have an, enough experience to know you know what moves you need to make in this moment regarding a certain situation okay the Sagittarius need to know Okay, you have me versus me. So you're focusing on being better than who you were yesterday. You're not in competition with anyone, Sagittarius. And it says this is temporary. So something is happening right now and it's only temporary, Sagittarius. So do not panic about this, this situation. This is temporary. This is not going to last forever. Trust and believe this is not going to last forever. Okay, rest assured that. And it says what's, what's mine is yours. Oh, someone wants to share something with you. Someone feels like they got you. I mean, someone wants to... Uh, help take care of something, you know, take a load off of you, you know, just help you be be of some some type of service to you. They say what what's mine is yours. So like someone is willing to help you out in a certain situation. Someone has your back, Sagittarius. Okay. What does the Sagittarius need to know? Happy to be free. Oh, you finally let something go and you feel so free, Sagittarius. This is wonderful. Wonderful. Why is happy to be free here? Okay. You have an air sign. So you could be free from an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And it says your smile, your lips. So whoever this person is, they really love your smile and your lips, Sagittarius. Okay. Or you could be free with the air sign. Okay. Let's get another one. Okay. You have, they are in their feelings right now. Hmm. There could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that, that's in their feelings right now about a certain situation. Okay. It's not you, it's me. So you got the it's not you, it's me card. So someone could have told you, Sagittarius, it's, it's not you, it's them, or it's, it's not something that you're doing. And okay, and this can be this can be taken in different ways. Okay, this could mean different things. Okay, the first thing it could it could mean is that it's literally not you, Sagittarius. It's them. Okay, now the second second thing that this this could mean it's not you, it's me, is that it is you, and they don't want to tell you it's you. Okay, someone is not it's not able to to admit to you that it is you. So they're saying it's not you, it's me. Okay, but it could also really be them. Okay, why is this here? Why is it's not you, it's me? Here? Okay, you have, I want to settle down. I still think about it. Hmm. You are very beautiful. So maybe it's not you, Sagittarius. Maybe it's not you in this situation. Okay, use your discernment. Okay, let's get some more information. Okay, you have an ex-lover. So an ex-lover um, could have told you, Sag, it's not you, it's me. This person could be dealing with something right now. Why is the ex-lover here? Why is the ex-lover here? Okay, you have, I know you hate me. So you got an ex-lover. They feel like you hate their ass, Sagittarius. Uh, and it says it won't rain always. I feel like someone is wanting some type of forgiveness. Someone feels like you hate them. Oh my goodness. I know you hate me. This ex says, I know you hate my ass. Somebody know they weren't right. For them to feel like that, they know they know they weren't right. Okay. Why is um I know you hate me here? Let's get a little bit more information on this. Oh, you have round four coming out. So you could have gave this person a chance after chance, uh, maybe to communicate or to you know, prove something to you or show you something different. It says it's over and done. But I know you hate me and exposed. Oh, wow. So someone feels like um, they, they kind of expose themselves in a certain situation. Why is it exposed here? Let's see. Why is, why is it exposed here? These cards are so small. Why is it exposed here? Okay, you have body language. Okay, we exposed being here with body language that is here. Is, I feel like um you can you can easily you could easily read this person's body language. Like you could tell when they wanted something. You could tell when they wanted to say something. Um 
this person felt very exposed. This ex lover felt very exposed. I feel I did. You did uh, have see it right through them. There's somebody, somebody that you see right through. Like you exposed something. Wow. And it says moving on. Okay. It's hard to get over it. So you could have a hard time moving on from something because it's hard to get over or someone is having a hard time moving on from a situation and it's hard to get over it. See earth sign at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Someone is having a hard time moving on from a situation. I see earth sign, earth sign. Okay. And you have a false soulmate. Seeing your face will be nice. So there's a false soulmate. Okay. These came out together, uh, Sagittarius. So understand there's someone who could uh, reach out to you, maybe even an ex or someone from the past. I did see the six of cups. Okay. Um, coming out in the tarot. So there could be a false uh, soulmate. Okay. Reaching out to you saying that it would be nice for, you know, you and them to be up for them to see you. Okay. Use your discernment. I want to get a little bit more information on this false soulmate. With seeing your face will be nice. What is this dealing with for Sag? I don't agree with you. I'm being honest. Hmm. So whoever this is, they didn't agree with something you said or something you did. They're being honest about something. Why is I'm being honest here? Thinking about the things you said. They don't agree with something you said. Okay. And it says you, you knew this would happen. Someone feels like you knew something would happen. So why are you tripping about it? Hmm. You knew this would happen. Why is this here? Let's get one more. Why is you knew this would happen here? I can't compare anyone to you. I knew it. <laughs> That's the last card I'm pulling. I can't compare anyone to you, Sagittarius. Okay, let's get some cosmic insight, you guys. Sagittarius needs to know at this time. You have communicate again. I feel like there's a lack of communication, but something needs to be discussed, okay? It says compromise, forgive, work it out. So you need to either just forgive, let something go, or work something out with someone. One of the two. Give me one for com communicate. Okay, you have cycles coming out. Ooh, with a pregnancy. So um, I do feel like someone could be pregnant. I, I truly felt that for real. Like someone could be pregnant here with the Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Okay, you could be pregnant. Okay, someone could not be communicating with you and you're pregnant. Someone could have got, gotten you pregnant. Okay, or however. Why is pregnancy here with cycles? Okay, someone missed the cycle and they got pregnant. Look at this. It says fake karma, some, something getting, something Fake karma, something beginning, okay? Someone is expecting. So someone missed their cycle, okay? Why is pregnancy here? You have a pet. A pet could be pregnant. You have a divorce, experiencing a breakup. So someone could be experiencing a damn breakup while they're pregnant. Going through a divorce. Ooh, my goodness. Someone could be arguing over the pets. Oh, what? oh my goodness. Okay, why is the divorce here with pets? Open your heart. Getting a new pet. Giving a turn pet more love. Okay, intuition. It says the red flags you ignore now will come back to you later. And you did have, you you knew this, this would happen. So I did a pull been there done that. I feel like you realize that you have been going in some type of cycle, Sagittarius, with the decisions that you made. I feel like this has come to an end. I feel like this was the last straw for you. Why is intuition here? You have a gold digger. Okay, this came out in the last reading. I do feel like someone that someone is connected to with this Queen of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords and Two of Cups. I feel like uh, someone either wanted you for your money, wanted some type of help, you know, financially, or someone that this person is with. They're realizing that this person... They could have trapped them with a pregnancy, okay? This could be a gold digger, okay? Someone who doesn't really want to, like, do anything for themselves. You know what I'm saying? They just want to, look at that. You have gambling with water sign. They just want to, like, 
keep someone stuck and someone is feeling stuck in a certain situation okay you have gambling problems with addictions uh bad finances wow someone is taking someone's money you have a cancer pisces scorpio you did have air and earth come out let's get one more cosmic insight someone did not use their intuition on a certain situation in a certain love situation because they ended up with someone who is a gold digger wow Oh my goodness. Like a true gold digger. Someone who just only wants someone's money. They don't want, they don't want, they don't care about the love and all that. They just want their bills, their bills paid, you know. They want to be financially okay. They don't want to have to worry about that. And that's cool, but they don't want the love. Like they don't really want the person. And you have commitment. Things are getting serious. So I feel like there's someone um, that you could be getting serious with. And you have give it time. It was flipped over. So there's some type of commitment that you need to give time, you know, for things to work out, for things to come together for you, uh, Sagittarius. Okay, there is some type of commitment that's coming into play for you. If that's what you seek, it is happening for you. Let's go ahead and get your angel number message. Okay, and you have 13. I am confident. Look at that. Like, you know who you are, Sagittarius. It says, you are a consensuous worker with the knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. Boom! Like, you're manifesting something literally into reality. Like, damn, Sash, like... This is so beautiful. And it says, an, an optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. Wow. Sagittarius, that's amazing. Let's get another one. You could be born December 13th, December 3rd, December 11th, December 1st, November 23rd, okay? November 24th, December 4th, and you have 22. I am alive, baby. You already know. Okay, it says, you are in possession of incredible creative powers and it is assured that you can achieve anything that you wish so you could be born november 22nd december 12th december 2nd uh november that's say november 24th i see 13 22 so someone could could be getting 1322 dollars okay i don't know if it's a paycheck or what but what's going on okay and you have 666 i am censored okay you definitely know who you are, Sagittarius. This is so beautiful, so beautiful. You're uh, beginning to be so grounded. This is so amazing. It says, a wake-up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction. You realize that you were going in a certain cycle, Sagittarius. You have broken a certain cycle. I love this. And it says, change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. This is why things are flowing in for you, Sagittarius, because you, you stopped this cycle that you were in, okay? It's, and I do feel like if you're not physically pregnant, I do feel like someone is, and this could be hidden from you. This could be going on in the background. It's either you or it's going on in the background. Someone is pregnant. This is why something is going on with the communication. Someone is expecting a baby, Okay. If not, you are pregnant with so many ideas like in your spirit, in your mind, okay? Because I do see you manifesting and getting real results from that in real life. Like this is real. Like this is not a flex, okay? This is real life. This is not for show. This is what's happening for real for you. And I'm so excited for you, Sagittarius. Thank y'all so, so much for joining this reading. This is the Sagittarian Goddess and I'll see y'all in the next one.